God's sake, the clock strikes midnight. Could you not arrange a more appropriate hour to execute this plight? <laughs> to think I went from bullets, bombs, and sabers with ranks upon my slave to an old man in this empty castle plagued by a set of cursed ivory keys. I could turn you into firewood. You know that? It wouldn't be so hard. Chop you into little pieces. Bury the brass pots in the yard. No, no. On second thought, I'll keep your legs and fashion them into a table. Then you'll finally be useful for something and I won't live this godforsaken fable. But not tonight. No, for, for tonight, the night grows old. Come to think of it, you may be of some value if instead sold. Besides, it'd been a gift from the Duke of Nukem, and I should never be so bold. But that leaves us with a conundrum. For I am powerless, yet can't sleep in this humdrum. So, I ask nicely, please, old chum, Please, for tonight, would you just succumb? Blasted box of wires and screws! Do you remember last week when I asked for your name? Oh, come now, it's answers I seek, yet you vanish like the flame. But I can't, I can't ignore. For the more I think of that bloody war, the more I know we've met before. Please, lay claim to yourself. Give me your name! Do you hear me? Have you no shame? Why do you insist on playing these childish games? Edward. Edward, it can't be you. No, no, Edward, it can't be true. No, dear God, the tragedy I almost can't abide. That name brings waves of sorrow, they come crashing like the tide. Dear, dear Edward, I'm so sorry you had died. I really am. But, this is not your home, Spectre. You don't belong here, they say. I'm an old man who needs some sleep, I die a bit more each day. You have to stop. If you keep going, I'll drop. Fine, you leave me no choice. I met with a woman in a caravan outside of town. She said that she would help me for only a fistful of pounds. She took me to her crystal ball and put on quite a show. She mixed together a potion, said spraying it would make you go. I hope you know I hate this, but do this I simply must, for I wish to be alone again, company to only this dust. No, wait, what in God's name stops shaking the shutters? And is that also you outside banging at the gutters? Why does this bottle grow warm in my grasp? Its heat is making it difficult to grasp. The gypsy wand against the whole glass breaking. For if it did, my soul would be for the taking. <laughs> gypsy magic. What swill wouldn't even hurt a ghost. Still, you had to go and ruin the fun, and force me to take host. Silly, arrogant little man, tampering with forces you couldn't possibly understand. Let fate play out. Those sisters don't need the meddling of your clumsy mortal hand. And now, the weight of my embers ablate your soul, cremating your insides. I can already hear death's toll. There's no logic, rhyme, or reason here. No moral to be had. Take away from this what you will. Be wary. I come forth to you, my wings unclad. <laughs>